the flight director bars will give us guidance, which we're going to see here momentarily. And so before we go and do that, I'm going to explain to you the takeoff profile. Um, and the call outs that are going to accompany that. Okay. So. Here is your runway. And we get airborne at 400 feet radio altitude. We're going to select a roll mode. What does that mean? That means either heading select or LNAV. Probably LNAV. It'll be a heading if we're cleared to fly a heading or if we're doing runway heading or something like that. LNAV to follow the magenta line. That's at 400 feet radio altitude. Then we're going to get to what's referred to as the thrust reduction altitude, commonly abbreviated thrust red. And that's where we're going to reduce thrust from the takeoff thrust setting to the climb thrust setting. The way we do that is there is a button on the mode control panel that says N1. So you're going to actually push. Well, if you're the pilot flying, you're going to call for N1. And the pilot monitoring will push it. That will reduce thrust. When we reach the acceleration altitude, which most times the thrust reduction and the acceleration altitude are coincident together, not always, but usually, and certainly in training they are, when we reach the acceleration altitude, we're going to set the flaps up speed. Set flaps up speed. Now, the set flaps up speed is how it's written in the manual. I would not call out set flaps up speed. I would call out bug up. The reason I would not call out set flaps up speed is because somebody is not going to set the speed. They're actually just going to put the flaps up. They're going to hear flaps up and somebody will raise your flaps on you. It has happened before. I think people read the manual and they see set flaps up speed as the action to be taken, but they interpret it as the call out when it is not what you verbalize. It's just the action that you do. I would call out bug up move the airspeed bug up. That's what you're targeting. Now, up means literally on the airspeed indicator, it says up. Literally, that's what it says. You're going to take the selector and you're going to roll it and you're going to encapsulate or house the little selector on the word up and you're going to leave it there. And that is going to drive your flight director bar down to begin accelerating you forward. So you're going to lower the nose by, by following the flight director, and then you'll accelerate forward. And as you accelerate, then you'll be in a better position to retract the flaps. So then you're going to go from flaps 5 to flaps 1, and then from flaps 1 to flaps up. And then when the flaps are up, no lights. Remember from yesterday, no lights means no amber in transit lights. Flaps up, no lights after takeoff checklist. Okay, now everything that I just shared with you here in terms of thrust reduction, acceleration, and bugging up will be done for you automatically if you have VNAV engaged. Stands for vertical navigation. Remember that ver uh, vertical navigation or VNAV as well as LNAV both can be engaged assuming the FMS software is at least version 10.7 or better. Now, 
I don't mention this first. I mention the old traditional way first because I want you to understand what the automation is doing. Because if the automation doesn't work and you don't really know what it does for you, then you're left guessing. So without looking at LNAV VNAV for a second, what you should definitively understand is that at 400 feet, you engage a roll mode. Yes, if LNAV was armed off the ground, it will engage itself automatically at 400 feet, leaving you to do nothing. But if for whatever reason that didn't work, you're going to have to push it. At 1,000 feet, that altitude is subject to change based on noise abatement procedures, but usually it's 1,000 feet. You're going to say N1, bug up. N1 reduces thrust, bug up, accelerates, by moving the speed bug up, which commands the flight director bar to reduce, lowers the angle of attack, pitches down to accelerate so that we can speed up to clean up and get the flaps retracted. If you, at a thousand feet, rather than say N1 bug up and simply say VNAV and they push VNAV, then VNAV will do both actions for you. It will reduce thrust and it will bug up automatically for you. And even better is if you arm VNAV back here on the ground before takeoff, you can get to a thousand feet and do nothing. You won't have to push anything and it will bug up and it will reduce the, the thrust for the thrust reduction altitude. Same thing. So the best thing for you to do is to arm LNAV VNAV off the ground and when you get to 400 feet, you will just make sure that LNAV engaged, but you won't have to physically take an action. And when you get to 1,000 feet, then you'll just make sure that it reduces the thrust and bugs up, but you won't have to physically take an action because the automation is doing what it would normally be doing anyways if you were not to have used LNAV VNAV. Flight director bar, it is pitching for the speed that is in the MCP. Okay, so when I roll this speed up, you'll notice the flight director bar is dropping down because I'm going to bug up. Let me switch views here and make this bigger. There we go. So when I place this bug up, the flight director bar comes down if the autopilot is on, which it is right now, it'll lower the nose, we'll begin accelerating, and then I can go ahead and retract flaps to one and later to up. Joe, at what point did you um, engage the autopilot in this process? I didn't see that. 400 feet. 400 feet. So that you manually just reach over 400 feet and hit, hit it. That's right. Yep. And that's just because I can't actually fly it. It's a desktop sim. And frankly, even in the airplane, I'd probably just put it on at 400 feet. But you could hand fly it if you want. Um, I do hand fly a decent amount if it's a simple departure. Not a lot of waypoints, not a lot of traffic, not a lot of weather. Good day, simple departure, low density traffic. I'll hand fly quite a bit. If there's a lot of variables, like waypoints and traffic and weather, I am not really looking to hand fly much, to be honest. I'd just rather put the autopilot so I can have better situational awareness of the whole picture instead of being stuck flying, uh, which is kind of reducing my mental bandwidth a little bit. But 400 feet is the answer. Um, okay, so now we just retracted the flaps. Let me go put, put the flaps back out for a second and show you something. So the speed tape, I don't know how clearly you can see this, but there's there's a five, there's a one, there's up. And there was also a little white tick mark. So once the airspeed is above the white tick mark, you can retract the flaps from five to one. So when I go from five to one, the airspeed envelope will update and I'm left with the one number still there because the flaps are still in one. And you'll notice the airspeed tape 
gives you the number that corresponds to the flap setting where the flap handle is. So if I put the flap in five, it's, it shows me a five. If I put it in two, it shows me two. If I put it in one, it'll show me one. So from flaps five, I go to flaps one. That's the normal retraction progression. And then once I'm at the one with a positive trend, so I'm at the flap one speed, positive trend, meaning I'm accelerating, then I go ahead and select flaps up. And now I can either stay at the flaps up speed or more likely is I'm going to just have VNAV on, which will accelerate me to 250, or I can just accelerate via, via the, uh, the switch here, the knob, to 250, which is what we'll do. And now I'm going to wait to listen and hear flaps up, no lights, after takeoff checklist. And now we do the after takeoff checklist. And the reason it advanced to 250 is because you had that set in the auto throttle. Is that correct? So I just, I set it myself. I rolled it up to 250, which is a common speed below 10,000 uh, feet. Uh, or I just hit VNAV and VNAV would take me there. Yep. Yeah. 